So this is my fleet. See if I can crank it down a little. Shoot, I'm in the way. <laughs> you know what? Let me load. That might work. Unlock canvas. Trying to get that top row of ships in. There. Alright, that's pretty good. Everything's a little more shrunk. Orion is my largest ship, yeah. And to be honest, like I'm not entirely sure that's the ship I'll spend a lot of time in. I just thought it would be great to have for um a small this a small org, which is what I like my I have an org called Rogue Group. Um I know I know someone out there is Rogue Squadron. But I've actually owned the URL roguegroup.com for something like 15 years. <laughs> so that's why I named my org Rogue Group. So if you want to be a part of Rogue Group. There is a website out there. It should still be working. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Okay. Is Rogue Group up and running? Because there's always like WordPress updates and things that can break it but oh yeah it's running here this is the website i made no job is too big no fee is too big a rouge group yeah people don't spell it properly <laughs> but yeah, if, if you're interested in joining a smaller org um, and just adding it to your collection of orgs, there's no, no requirements at all. It's just another group of people to play with. And that, that's kind of the goal I'm going to have for a group. Roguegroup.com. All right, let me close that. Back to the fleet. All right, so. The story of my fleet. Let's see. Is this the CCU chart? That's funny. No, this is, so this is, um, Star Jump Fleet Viewer. So Star Jump Grim, Ender, and Starlet have created this. Starlet's like the main coder, I think, and Grim is the the main artist. Uh, there's others too. I, you know, I'd have to look up their credits to get everybody's name. More Mustangs than Aurora's. That's only because I bought that uh, Mustang 4-pack. But yeah. And I'm just... I, I only kept the Aurora LN. The Aurora LX is busted anyway. Like that... It's got that bug where the driver's seat disappears on you <laughs> here let's we can zoom into different portions might as well do that so kind of the smaller ships here um got my aurora ln that's one of the originals i had that and the hornet because i had the um ln is your aurora too yeah i did the five dollar upgrade from an lx to get that but I had the Hornet in the Colonel package in 2013 was when I backed. So I've been around a long time. And then when you see this here, this is my little system for showing sh ships that are loners. So the plus minus thing here just means I technically have both of these, but eventually it's only going to be this one. So you know, when the loaner is done or when this is quote-unquote fixed. 
I've been a backer since 2013, not playing it since 2013. Playing it in 2013 meant you had a hanger. So I didn't even get in there very often. And you could only look at your ships while they were building everything behind the scenes. This Gladius is... I have this because of referrals, the referral bonuses. Speaking of which, everybody, if you're not playing yet, Star Citizen, um, they're doing another uh, bonus for people who sign up right now. If you use a referral code, and I do have one, of course, exclamation point star will show you the referral code. So you'll get $5,000 5, in-game credits, but then also with Star Citizen, there are certain periods of time where they give extra ships to both the referrer and the person who signs up. And right now it's an Argo cargo, I believe, or is it the MPUV? Is it the personal carrier? I figured that out. <laughs> MPUV, okay, yeah. Yeah, it is a fun little ship. You can spawn the MPUV just just at vehicle spawns too. It's awesome. So let's see. The 325A I got only because it's customizable. But now I currently have two because of the 400i. The loaner is the 325A still. But eventually, you can see I'm upgrading. I have an upgrade in place for the Apollo Medevac that I haven't applied yet. Eventually, my 400 eyes going away, and it's going to be an Apollo Medivac. I'm I'm not as in love with the 400 eye as most people are, and you think I would be because it, it's a decent like drug runner, which is my favorite thing to do in the game. But for that, I still use the 315P more than anything else. It's got 12 SCU. I love that chip. This is this is my favorite right now still. Taurus is good for that too. That's not a bad thought. I don't even have one. But yeah, then I have the Mustang pack. Uh, deltas are awesome with the rocket pods, of course. The beta is fun because you have that little living space. Um, it's a good one for doing quick hops around the system if you're shopping or whatever. Along with the 315P, of course. This is my daily runner, really. The 315. Um, Arrow and Hawk. The Hawk is fun to do bounties with. Eventually it'll be awesome when you can actually capture people. And bring them back as part of the bounty rather than just killing them. Hornet. I will always love my original Hornet because it's the first ship I ever owned in the game. With the Aurora being a very close second, like... The same day or, or a day later I I bought that. So uh the Scorpius I just finally upgraded to. I'm too too new with the Scorpius and my joysticks aren't working great right now, so I haven't had a lot of time to spend with it and, and enjoy it yet. But I'm glad I have one. Alright, let's zoom in a little more because we're gonna go through the vehicles that I have. So I've got the PTV, of course. I've got a Steve. I actually have a couple of these, but I only list one because I intend to upgrade it. Um, and then I've got a Mule. I've got a Hover Quad. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, no, there it is. There's a Dragonfly. Um, and then I've got the Spartan. I don't have any, th any other vehicles like this yet. Oh, the plus... That was, that's my, the symbol I came up with to show a loner that won't always be there. So it basically is saying this, the minus means this will go away once this is considered a fixed ship. And I only have it with the, the plus means I only have it because of the 400i. And the other negative is, I guess, if, if I were to sell this, I'd lose both. That's what this is trying to tell me. Or if I upgrade it to this, I will lose bo lose both. You know, I won't have the 325 anymore. 325A. So, 
It's not an official symbol. I just made that with um, the text tool in Sleep Mirror. Let's see. And then so we have the Vanguard Hoplite, which is a loner for the Legionnaire. And of course, this this concept. I should probably come up with a symbol to show that it's concept too. But yeah, so right now I can fly the hoplite in game. Ed. So I own a Dragonfly Black, and because of that, I have an Aurora MR just thrown in. You know, it's kind of funny how that's a loner for the Dragonfly. A lot of people are like, why do I have an Aurora MR? They don't realize it's because you have a black. And I have this from the referral program, I think. The 400i, like, is in an Apollo. I I have the CCU upgrade to the Apollo in my hangar, meaning it's going to be eventually. Right now, though, the one... My mouse just died. Oh, there it goes. Right now, the one I'm flying is the 400i. So this dash dash with an arrow means eventually I will I will go to this if that makes sense I'm trying with my fleet viewer pick to show literally my entire ship situation <laughs> that's, that's why I do these symbols my ship situation I like that all right um I own a herald I have an Aries Inferno I originally had the Ion, but I melted it and got the Inferno with the money, and that way I can buy the Ion back. Harold is Orison's best friend. Oh, to get in and out of the atmosphere? That makes sense. Oh, here's the MPUV cargo. If you wanted to sign up for Star Citizen right now, you can get one of these totally free using my referral code or anyone's referral code. As long as you buy a starter package. And then I have my C8X Pisces, the C8R, but mine's the code blue, which I love. I own two cutters. One is the um, subscribers uh, version, and then the other is the the you know starter package they were selling during I I A E. What's the massive white ship in the bottom right hand corner? We'll get to that. <laughs> um. The Nomad, I still have. I just kind of like that one. Um, to use. It's very useful from time to time for specific captures or, fi or like you have a vehicle on a ship and the vehicle gets, the ship gets blown up but the vehicle doesn't and you want to go back and capture that vehicle and bring it home. If it fits in the back of the Nomad, it's the perfect ship to use to, to like do an in-space capture. Uh, my Freelancer was the third ship I ever owned in the game, and I love it. Close, close second or third to my favorite ship, which is the 315P. Yeah, Nomad is very cool. And there's great skins for the Nomad, which is kind of a selling point, of, in my opinion. Okay, and then Freelancer Max. I got this during IAE this year, just now. I've barely flown it. Um, here we go over to my pirate activities. I've got my Mantis, um, which is also a recent IAE. Oh, I keep forgetting to tell people that's what I also got. So I got five ships during IAE. Depends how you use it, Spurious. That's what she said. And then I I did buy both um, Pirate Gladius and Pirate Captain when I you know beat the um, Arena Commander mission. That's well, not really a mission, but All right. And then down here is the Corsair. Notice how it's in proximity to the pirate action. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, why? My mouse. Okay, there. This should be the pirate in. Yeah. Yep. 
Eternity paint? I, I do have it. Um, I don't... Can, can you show it in the fleet viewer? Yeah, that black and red, I love it. That paint. There is a pirate ship, though. I know. I know. Just because someone else calls it a pirate ship doesn't mean I have to. These are my most piratey ships. Anyway. Um... Cutlass Black is kind of a pirate ship too, right? It can be. I only have the Cutlass Black though because I own a Spirit C1. So this is the loner indicator again. So as soon as this is in game and, you know, working properly according to CIG, then this goes away. That's why that symbol's there. And then... Oh, that's right. I do own a Taurus. <laughs> Oh, I have a Taurus loner. I almost never fly the thing. But I, I have a Raylan. So uh, my Raylan gives me all three of these loners. The Talon, the Cartual, and the Taurus. That's a great ship to buy during, you know, IE or one of the other events to get these three as loners. I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, it's in game though. These disappear. From your inventory but as you can see the banu merchantman which is what the big white ship in the corner is that is uh eventually going to be upgraded from my Raylan. i already i already own the ccus to get to it I've, I've had those for like a year i'm holding on to them that's the store on wings that's right You're not a Raylan fan? Seems kind of pointless from a practical perspective. I think it totally depends on physicalized cargo and how it all shakes out. It It's going to be a fun one to use for a while, and it seems like we should still get this one first. Like, there's no... I don't necessarily have to upgrade it all the way to the Merchantman just because I have the CCUs, but that's the plan right now. Alright, then back up here... Because I have the Orion, which I have upgraded all the way to, the loners for that are the Mole and the Prospector. So this is my mining section up here. And that's pretty much it. That's my whole fleet right now. I love this tool, though. They did such a good job. Shout out to Starjump. Starjump Grim, Ender, and Starlet. Quite the collection, thank you. A little bit of everything. That's my goal. I joke because of, because I'm a Gemini and I love to bounce around and do whatever I feel like doing from day to day. But um, I think it's just the personality I have too is to not want to get bored with. A certain subset of things, you know? Also probably why I'm single. Anyway. Let's go. Let's go.